Bye bye. Happy bye. journey. Good morning YouTube. What's up guys? So here we are at Nagpur and uh, last night I reached Nagpur somewhere around about 10:30 uh, or so. It's quite easy to actually navigate through the city and uh, I was easily able to reach the hotel that we were staying at and uh, Nikhil just sent me the GPS coordinates and uh, that was more than enough I I barely took like 15 minutes to reach there after yesterday's uh, event what really happened that was uh, I lost my phone then I had to get my backup phone and stuff like that it took a while I was supposed to be at Nagpur somewhere around about 3 or 4 o'clock in the evening but that didn't happen I reached here at 10 30 which meant that uh, it, I barely had any time at all so day before yesterday I slept for like 3 hours or 4 hours or so yesterday yesterday I slept for like I guess another 4 hours and uh, today I think I slept Barely I slept anything. I mean, I, I reached uh, 10, at 10.30. 10 Both of us were actually catching up and uh, chit-chatting till around 12, 12.30 or so. I was dead hungry, so he ordered dal and uh, roti for me. And also, yeah, uh, mutton biryani as well. I didn't really uh, eat uh, mutton. I had just had the biryani and... Uh, Okay, so he is the one who is actually navigating today, and uh, I guess he is using the GPS. So according to me, we are supposed to go absolutely straight. We are not supposed to any take any turns. Not sure. Let's see. क्या हुआ? It's uh, to be very honest, it's very cold outside, and uh, somewhere around about uh, seven degrees or six degrees or something like that. And I am also running out of fuel, so we have to actually go ahead and uh, fill up the gas tank. So some kind of, I think, <laughs> uh, some air is leaking out, <laughs> leaking inside his uh, boots or something like that, I'm not sure. So anyways. Okay, so we have already covered like 25-30 kilometers from the city. And it's about time that we have to fill up... Uh, petrol in both the bikes even his bike is uh, almost close to empty so he has to also fill it up and let's see uh, if we can find any petrol pumps at this point at this time uh, it's way too early in the morning we were supposed to leave somewhere around about four o'clock in the morning but uh, we had quite a few subs oh there is a petrol pump 
another one in the left, I guess. Yep, he noticed it. Okay, so we'll just uh, fill up the fuel and uh, then keep riding. So at this point, uh, we are supposed to do an average of around about 110, 120 kilometers uh, per hour. I'm pretty sure that 120 is impossible on this bike. But then if I had a better bike, probably I would have easily be able to do even beyond that. <coughs> so is that a... <laughs> Okay, so we filled up the fuel, now we are rolling. So, Calcutta is approximately 111 kilometers from the place where we started from, the hotel. And uh, most likely we will be reaching Calcutta by around about 8 pm or so, if the way we are going. If uh, we have these kind of roads, then yes, we will easily be able to make it up till Calcutta without any problem. So let's hope that uh, we easily reach there without any issues. Pahla toll na kara hai, finally. Ek I feel that uh, my voice is going off. Because of the cold, I mean, last night I started coughing like crazy for some reason. Oncoming traffic and high beams. Oh man. So we are at, uh, we are on the way to Calcutta and look at the roads. I mean, two lane and high beams on your face. This is the last thing any rider would want to have is the oncoming traffic at 100 kilometers per hour with high beams on. So far we have already completed uh, 60 kilometers and we are literally ripping the bikes I mean at least the Royal Enfield. Uh, that Tiger can easily do more than 150, 160 cruising speed. Top speed is somewhere around about uh, 200 plus kilometers per hour. So let's see how I'll be able to catch up to him because this bike wouldn't do more than 140 so its cruising speed is around 110 120 and I'm keeping her at around 100 at this point once we get a little bit open stretch of road then I'll be doing around 120 or so <coughs> so last night what happened was uh, Nikhil had already had uh, dinner and he was waiting. He slept quite well and he had lots of subscribers as well who came after 10.30 or so. So he went to meet them and everything. I just took a shower and then slept off. I mean, I had uh, that biryani thing. It wasn't really like a biryani but then I just had it. 
because I was dead hungry. And then uh, he ordered uh, some rice and uh, dal, but I didn't mood nahi tha khane ka. And I was like, I got to sleep for some time, and I just slept. I slept for uh, slept at around uh, twelve thirty or so. And Nik- uh, Nikhil ko he bola tha ki alarm laga diyo yar. So ba uthna hai jaldi. So he woke me up at three uh, o'clock, sharp three. We were supposed to leave by four, but when we went down at around three forty-five or something, we met quite a few subscribers who were waiting uh, for Nikhil for quite some time. So he was chit-chatting with them for some time and then packing up and stuff like that. By the time we could leave, it was already five. So he hota hai on tours if in case uh, you're doing solo or something like that i mean see if as long as there is no no one to s- slow you down or uh, anything as such you can easily manage uh, to go anywhere within the country i mean 1000 kilometers 1200 kilometers 1500 kilometers easily it should not be a problem but then not uh, every time is the same uh with regards to nikhil i mean he has quite a lot of subscribers who would love to meet him and uh, i would also love to meet uh, these uh, subscribers and in case i could be of any help i would lovely i mean i would love to help them out as well ek aur toll na kha gaya kya baat hai is behind me right yeah into the night out of the dark take to the sky chasing the stars all that we said all that we are waiting to fly this is the start hide and seek reason and rhyme grand and glorious living the dream yours and mine euphoria hide and seek reason and rhyme grand and glorious living the dream so we took a break and break was for like 15 minutes or so 15 20 minutes and it's damn freaking cold right now uh we had like six or seven cups of tea i mean uh, he uh, nikhil had like four cups of tea i had three and both of us were literally freezing we got this uh, split four lane highway finally after like almost uh, 40 kilometers of single uh, single lane we were just discussing about how quickly can we reach before the sun rises we have to complete another uh, 50 kilometers let's see how quickly we can do that uh, we have already covered around 90 plus i think right now it's around 100 kilometers from uh, nagpur so another 1000 kilometers to go 1011 kilometers to go Let's see how things go out from now. And in this trip, I'm really missing uh, Zuhair to be very honest because he was supposed to join us, but due to some personal reasons he's he was not able to. The plan was supposed to be that uh, me and Zuhair and Nikhil V3 would be riding from Hyderabad to Vizag, from Vizag to Calcutta, from Calcutta to Nagpur, the exact opposite uh, route. but then i didn't work out last minute zuhair couldn't uh, really come in so then i left 
and uh, it was more of a solo ride from uh, Hyderabad to Nagpur and from Nagpur I, uh, I am with uh, Nikhil and both of us are actually heading towards Calcutta and again single lane free man okay so Nikhil is supposed to be behind me but I don't see him and this uh, this is entirely a forest area I have been through this route like uh, four times before while doing from east coast to west coast right and uh, from Gujarat to all the way to uh, end of Assam I wanted to do all the way to Tripura almost like five six years back but then I at that time there were lots of political problems so I didn't really want to uh, go there the cold is literally I mean I'm actually freezing right now quite literally freezing last I checked the temperature was supposed to be around 6 degrees but this is a forest area and 6 degrees was supposed to be in Nagpur so this must be below that 6 degree mark uh, easily it will be like 4 or 5 degrees at the maximum this stretch of road I remember very clearly that uh, once I think almost close to 7 or 8 years back when I was doing this uh, route for the first time there was one uh, deer which crossed the road and I almost hit it. so that being said I am being extra careful and I am going to be below 110 as long as I possibly can there he goes so I was actually uh, checking out the mirror continuously because uh, if in case he is left behind and something happens then I don't know most of the times we don't really have a mobile network either so that would have been really hard so I had to ride back again I hope we have another four lane uh, road ahead oh ho 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 there we go four lane road good one man now I can cruise at 120 easily is the sun coming out no, not yet. Now, riding with a tiger means, I mean, Nikhil can simply fly off as soon as there is a empty stretch of road and I'll be still doing 120. So, when there is a twisties or a single lane, I can easily maintain 110, 120, but uh, he will have to slow down because he has two big massive pioneers on the bike and uh, he can't really filter through any kind of traffic because of those big pioneers so I hope it does not really matter later on because I, I doubt that we'll be encountering any kind of uh, uh, traffic ahead but then let's see how things go now, this is going to be an amazing photo op something just almost hit me weird so let's see how things go now uh, the sunrise is about I mean sun is about to come out by now I'm pretty sure that uh, right now sun would have come out in Calcutta because it's on the eastern side of the country and uh, it will take another half an hour or so before the sun starts coming out here And I've been listening to this uh, beautiful trap song, a uh, trap music. Uh, it's like a remix version of uh, one of my favorite songs. And I really v love this song. So I'm going to put this, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to, when I'm editing the video, I'm going to put this song on this uh, trip. So that uh, you guys also listen to it and you also enjoy that uh, song. Oh boy. Now again, Nikhil is missing. Anyways, uh, that being said, let me play the song for you. Easy 
Living the dream, yours and mine, or in planted. Living the dream, dream, or in planted. Living the dream, euphoria. Still and silent, calm before the storm. Gold and diamond, jewels behind the throne. Into the night, out of the dark, take to the sky, chasing the stars. All that we said, all that we are, waiting to fly. This is the start Hide and seek, reason and rhyme, grand and glorious Living the dream, yours and mine, euphoria Hide and seek, reason and rhyme, grand and glorious Living the dream, yours and mine, euphoria Waiting to fly